Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna talk about a recent upgrade we've made to our solar setup. Uh, this has allowed us to see how much solar we're getting all the time, and it's got some upgradability in the future if we want to add more solar. So stay tuned and see what we've done. We are Kyle and Nicole, avid travelers from Michigan. In 2021, Kyle quit his job and we have been traveling across North America in our travel trailer while I continue to work full time from the road. We love to create content showing amazing destinations, things to do, free camping spots, and RV life. We hope you will like, subscribe, and comment on our videos and join us for these fantastic adventures. You never know where we will pop up next. So here's our new toy. I'll explain what this is how we ended up getting to where we are and why we needed it and what it's gonna do for us. So a quick backstory first about how we got into solar. Back in 2021, our RV fridge had died. We were using a mini fridge and we were powering that off just a 500 watt Jackery and then using just one single RV camping battery. And we had some people move in pretty close to us. We were at Laverk and Overlook in Utah. We started feeling guilty about how much we were running the generator and thought, okay, let's get some solar. At least then we can get some charge while we aren't there. So the only store around that had solar was Harbor Freight. We bought a 100 watt Thunderbolt kit and that's what's led us to where we are today. So the kit included all the wiring you need, four 25 watt panels and a charge controller. Since that time, we have mounted the panels up on the roof, which the wiring runs right down here. And then I put the charge controller in a separate battery box. But what happened is the battery box is not sealed, like designed that way to off gas your battery. And so what ended up happening is through some of the harsh environments we're in, water and stuff had gotten into the charge controller that came with the Thunderbolt kit and it started rusting and corroding and it no longer was really functioning for us. So the simplest explanation is that from your solar panels to charge your battery, you need something to control that charge. That's where this comes in. This is a charge controller. So this is from Victron Energy. This is like one of the gold standards of charge controllers. Uh, it's one of the nicer ones you can get. So that's what I picked up. Uh, it's available on Amazon. There's a link in our Amazon account for it. So one of the things that I really like about this controller is it has its own smartphone app, which will tell you how much power you're getting. It'll show battery voltage. It'll show your total yield, uh, the charging state of your charge controller. And then if you just click on your device, it will connect. And it shows a little more information on the status and it'll also show you the history from the day and it'll also go back over many many days so this is a lot of valuable information that i did not get with the thunderbolt charge controller so this one is a significant upgrade for us and it allows us to maximize efficiency on our solar now the one thing that we have learned is that our solar panels on the roof are not getting anywhere near the 100 watts that they're advertised as you see right now, I'm getting about five watts out of 100. And the sun is still fairly up in the sky, so they're really not very good for us. Now, the other thing, I have a cord that I can plug my Jackery solar panel in to this battery, and I get much more juice. It, it just tells me what I'm getting, where the other controller, it was just a shot in the dark. I had no idea what I was getting ever. I just could check the battery range or the voltage. There was a voltage readout on it. It was just a, a guess as to how much I had actually gotten. This has been game changing for us because it actually tells me how poor my panels are doing or how good they're doing. Something that I liked about the charge controller that drew my attention to it is that there's no cooling fan. It just has cooling fins. And so you don't lose any power by turning a fan on. And so it dissipates its heat. So it's supposed to maximize the efficiency and you get as much charge possible from your panels to your battery. So something that might make it a little nicer than some other charge controllers. Now, as far as hooking this up, it's really quite simple. Here you've got your positive and negative for your battery, and that's gonna go to your battery system. And then you've got your positive and negative from your solar panel. And so your solar panels are just gonna go in there. That's really quite easy. So this one is gonna be nice for us if we choose to add more solar. This one is a 30 amp charge controller, so it can take 30 amps of electricity through it. So I believe that's gonna get us about 360 watts at 12 volts. So as you can see, we can upgrade significantly and get some more solar out of this charge controller. And so it allows us to build on our system if we choose to, which is one of the reasons why we got it. So this unit is mountable. Many people will mount them in their pass-through storage. Uh, I went with the no budget, no tools necessary mounting. Uh, it was just simpler for us, works so far. 
So here's how I have it installed. Uh, it's pretty simple. This is just some foam insulation that I had left over. So I put it in there as a little shock absorber and to keep it kind of in place. Uh, in case you're wondering over here, that's actually a temperature sensor to our weather station. Uh, let's us know what the outdoor temperature is. So the reason I have put it in this battery box is these are not weather friendly. They need to be protected from the elements. So in my little redneck uh, battery box here, it stays protected. It does get dirty. We're in the desert currently and some dust does get in it, but that's the only thing I've seen so far that's going to get to it. So far for us, it's been really good. I really like having it. I like the app. It gives me a lot of information. If you're a numbers freak, it's cool to know what you're getting and everybody wants as much power as they can get while they're boondocking. This will help you.